Fill her up. You're listening to the Gas Digital Network. Perez. Dresher. On the gate. Welcome to On The Gate Uncensored, Derek Drescher, Gio Perez. We got Damian Speranza in the building and Hannah Rocheline. Howdy, ho. Did I say it right? Rushline. 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 Well, they should put a U instead of an O. I hear that, but it was, you know. Rocheline, you're not Jewish? It's German. Okay, okay. I was about oh, to say German. German. I mean, that's, yeah, yeah, so I'm half Asian and half German, but as someone told me, all axis. So. And what kind of... You know, what's, you know how you say German in sign language? <laughs> <laughs> Don't make me do it. We just started. This is first 60 no, seconds. No, no, that's a, uncensored. We're uncensored. These are the parts my friends like screenshot and then send me when they're <laughs> watching just, this, like, and I'm like, don't we'll do We'll just keep the game going. Flick books. <laughs> yeah, we'll just keep the game going. Gio's going to do the sign language for nationality. Yeah. You just have to guess what it is. Yeah. Like, that's what we're going to do. I want to figure out what, what, what the sign for sick is. Me too. That's I, the one I, I really, really want to know. Can what, Natalie Google uh, that? Is that something Natalie can look Natalie, I don't want that on my Google history. We'll do it on Lewis's. <laughs> yeah. Damn, what would be it? Do it on Shannon's. <laughs> so, uh, what kind of, and what do you, Thai? Filipino? Half Filipino, half oh, German. Okay. Oh, those are good yeah, ones. I've been Filipino in the Philippines German? before a couple times. You, you, have you been yet? I haven't been yet. I just, I was a, I was a late bloomer. You yeah. know, you hear me talking about it on stage, like, getting hot, getting sober, all of that kind of shit. And I just got, you know, I stopped drinking five and a half years or so ago. So there was just like certain things that seems like ridiculous that you I were, hadn't had you a passport blacked out yet. And you were not going out of the country. Yeah. I mean, I felt like it'd be better to die close to my parents where they could retrieve my body than yeah. Amsterdam. You know what I mean? It was like, Fair. that's got to be, you know, <laughs> yeah. I had a buddy that was found dead in a Vegas hot tub and I remember that whole hullabaloo getting, oh, man, getting I, her home, drunk. you really know, so it's like, bro. I had a home girl well, parties who died. Parties in Vegas stays in Vegas. <laughs> she OD'd in Legit. a bathtub. She OD'd in a bathtub, and they, they didn't find her for a while. They drowned. And they they no, pass out, and no, they drown. No, she that's just got happens. high and was sitting in the bathtub. I think that's what happens. I think they pass out, and then they fall, They like go into the water. I think that's what happened to... Uh, oh, Whitney Houston died Whitney like Houston, that, for they sure. Drowned. They but just, dude, ow. the rigor mortis set in by the time they found her. Oh, so oh. her arms were up. They couldn't. They kind of do an open casket. That's, that's crazy. crazy. I mean, they could. They just break the bones yeah, and put it down. Know. I'm just saying, like, it's been done. Do, they, do, 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 they do do that sometimes? Yeah, can you that's say that again? Do, 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 All right, next to the racial slur list. Here we go, Joe. Right. Right. My voice is cracking. We did Jews. We did I can't Mexico. talk. No, we didn't do Mexico. I've heard of people, like, dying with a boner, and they have to break it. Yeah, see? To Natalie, to to turn your goddamn kid. mic off right now. How dare you? I thought you would like to know that. I thought you would like that. I appreciate it. Yes, it is. Coming. Yes, it is. It's absolutely yeah, true. Um, imagine like you die, you have a boner, and they're like, oh, no, we can still close it. <laughs> That's not going to block anything. <laughs> oh, God. oh, oh, yeah, because it's so small. Yeah, yeah. yeah I you know. sometimes me, think about my sugar daddy's dying in those kinds of ways, <laughs> and now knowing I can just like put Terry's <laughs> like old ass boner down to save his family. I think he's alive. <laughs> <laughs> he's still hard. She yeah. still She's like, I'm not yeah. done yet. I'm going to finish, yeah. and then we'll deal with the other problem. Why won't you? Come, like he went out like Lamar Odom. <laughs> yeah. Did Lamar die? No, no, no. But oh. yeah, he was in. A, wasn't he in a coma? Oh yeah, he, I mean, yeah. he frisked out. Bro, was close. I, I right saw there. him on the on the bus like eight years ago. He looked bad. He yeah, looked yeah, really bad. Yeah, fucking, he started smoking you know. crack with his pops. Pops was out of his life. Came back in smoking crack. Trying to be like his daddy. Smoking crack. Yeah. Smoking so who's like Filipino? Mom or dad? Mom. mom. Does yeah, mom would guess that all day? Yeah, yeah. Does she speak Tagalog? For sure. And I understand Tagalog. Like if Get somebody the fuck was, out of if here. someone was shit talking me on like the subway in about two or three languages, I don't. You know, yeah, Tagalog's yeah, yeah. one of those. But I, because I think we were in small town Indiana, and Mom was concerned about learning her own English, mm -hmm. so we didn't. She didn't speak to us like directly right. in Tagalog, where it's like I picked up Spanish super easy in high school because you know Spain butt fucked the Philippines, right, so it was right, like right, right. a lot of those words are less ting a ting tang tang and more like shared like that's coaching. what I love. So Tagalog or well, some people call it Filipino. I think there's 13 or 14 letters in the alphabet. That's it. It's like yeah, it's like really? palawala ting tang ping pong. <laughs> yeah, poo. that's, that's nice. it. It's all it's all like the same. I think uh, you know how to speak it. Is there certain words you know? For sure, I definitely now, know. Now ice is what, do you too, say, too uh, big, right? Too big. Too big is water. Yeah, water, water, water can be used yeah. for like. Or, you know, something so like So you could that. say water and ice for one word. How do you say the N-word in Tagalog? <laughs> so can you could be like, yo, can I get some too big, too big? Which means ice water. 
too yeah, big. Too yeah, big. There we go. Too big, too big. Yeah. That's great. And uh, I know Mahal is love. Because I used to... Yeah, Mahal Kita. I was, but, yeah, uh, Mahal for short yeah. is what I say to my niece. I was I was married to a Filipino girl. Of course what? you were, yeah. Derek. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. How much yeah. you pay? <laughs> she, dude, I want twelve hundred. She, she didn't want to come back to America. Did you blame her? I was like, yo, I can't fucking live here in the Philippines. Like, what did I pay all this money for? Too fucking hot. It's Flight hot. was included. Yeah. Brownouts every hour. You'll know when you go eventually. For Brownout. sure. Yeah. But I mean, we've got. Fortunately, it's like mom and her sisters in their little dirt village have managed to like put their money together. They've built like a. Kind of like a little three-story property that like backs up to an active volcano or whatever. So it's like I've got space to roam there, dude. You will see the fucking smoke coming out of the fucking volcanoes. Oh, that be that's easy. crazy. Yeah, Aren't you scared? That it's it's gonna get nuts. Bobby, I've had a daily driver depression and suicidal ideation <laughs> since I was in that cornfield. If I were to just pass away from a Pompeii situation happening in the motherland, bro, yeah. that's. Epic. Yeah. Eating a fucking mango, which is yeah. shoeless next thing you know. Dude, the, and the snakes down there. And Don't so, say that. That scares me to death, bro. bro. So, Not the death, the snakes. <laughs> so the Philippines is, there's one main island, I think, I believe it's called Luzon. But then there's like, there might be a hundred islands. I hate like how cultured you are as a person. Why? Like, the more I find out that you're cultured, the more aggravated I'm getting. He's been to the place I'm the, from, and yeah, I have not it's, been. It's fucking wild how cultured he is. Let me tell you, when I was in the Philippines, I was like a king. I was like a because I had every one of our dollars is worth 54, right? So there'd be kids playing in the street, and I would just be throwing pesos. Hey, you see Derek right. in yeah. like white pants. So you were just throwing money at little hat. kids. That bro, what you I was said? like, you were just <laughs> giving little kids money. It's <laughs> a polo shirt. Yeah. I was, I was like the great white hope over there, dude. Because I, I stayed Sounds for, like I would stay, trafficking. I would stay for a couple months at a time. I wondered how at, long you were over there. Yeah. So uh, this one uh, family that was close with uh, the woman's I was with family, like they, they can't. He, the husband came to me one day, and he was like, Derek. Uh, <laughs> why does you wait? Why does that accent sound like your Indian accent? I, 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 that you, I, that you did Derek, I can't. Derek. Well, Derek, welcome to the Philippines. Derek. <laughs> I need you to talk to my daughter. We have this no. This is Penyang. We have, we have, we have no <laughs> accent talent on Dude, this Jamaica. podcast. Press the one word. for Lumpia. Press two. Derek. Um, no, well, we need money to send my thank child you, to thank school. <laughs> thank you for calling DoorDash support. <laughs> my Jamaican almost sounded Indian oh, too. Jesus, I, and I and I couldn't do Indian on the last the last episode. Yeah, but this uh, is my Chinese accent. So she, <laughs> the woman used to always, she, when she would say like "fuck you, motherfucker" to me, it would be like she would like "fuck you, motherfucker." Like that's how. Oh, for sure. Yeah, oh. that's how she would say. It. So like the pH is like. You know, or well, isn't the there a F, town F called "fuck" out there? But it's it's not said like that. It's or like F yeah, so H you you, you know, yeah. I'll forget. That's okay. it. That's it. So the, I was close. When you say Filipino, it's 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 more like Filipino, right? Yeah, Filipino. Uh, Filipino. Filipino. Yeah, yeah. The F is a P. That P sounds because more even like okay, so my cousin Wednesday, that's her name, but she grew up in Seattle, full Filipino, and she was like the first person in our family when I was a kid to get a tattoo. And she got one that said, Pinai Power. You, does your cousin like to fuck? For sure. Because you know, Wednesday is... Hump day? Hump, Hump day. day. Yeah, Let's yeah, yeah. go. She, she likes to fuck. Sure. She likes to fouquet. <laughs> All three of her kids, different fathers. <laughs> you know, oh, nice. but Blasian, I'm here for it. Did three not, three did not baby budge daddies? off that pun. Ooh. I'm so upset. And she and she Wrong likes show for the that. dark meat. What happened? Wrong show for that. True, all, right. all baby daddies. You're three right. baby daddies. Three baby. Three yep. baby daddies. Three baby dads and then, uh, yeah. And what nationality are they? All the baby daddies. Filipino black. black. It's beautiful nigger shit. I have to say it's. Wow, sorry, I'm sorry. that was <laughs> that. You got the, 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 I mean, that threw me. That I was not expecting. The thing <laughs> just, with the N word comes great responsibility, <laughs> Derek. You just can't throw it around. We're talking about, her, about the timing. baby daddies and just <laughs> okay, I'm, that. I'm, I'm sorry. I no, replaced I replaced anything like even in songs like if the N word is floating around in my peripheral, I've just started saying ninja. I've just taken yeah. that on as my Asian. Yeah. Do you know? Yeah. Just well, way to. In case ninja. you're curious, Gio knows how to say that in sign language. Yeah. Just... Ninja. Yeah. Let me see. No, 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 that's oh, the other one. oh, oh, that one. This is there, there's this Asian, is the N word. There's an Asian the rapper. N-word. I forget which which country he's from. Like maybe Malaysia. His name is. He calls himself Rich Chiga. Yeah, yeah Rich Chiga. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, wow. Rich Chiga. 
Oh, dude, play one of his songs. Rich, his, what, what's the? Uh, I think that's the name of the song. No, Rich Chiga. No, Rich Chiga is his name. It was his name, and then he changed it to be politically correct. What he is he now? Him. Just Rich? It's just like Brian, Brian Rich Brian, yeah. Rich Brian. Rich. <laughs> wow, what a change, Rich Brian. He like has that. a song pull like up with the state. So his shit. name was Brian, and he's a rapper. And he, okay. but he called himself Rich Chiga. Yeah. So now he's Rich Brian. Yeah. His play, music play can't his, be any good with those no. name options. Bro, pull, pull one of his songs are pretty good. Well, yeah, I do. I, I like pull it. up with the stick. Yeah, I forget what it's called. His English is wonderful. Very good. But but I remember they had Cameron looking at his, like, like listening to lyrics. He was, was like, like hey, he was like, yeah, he ain't bad. They had a, a couple rappers. Like, I think Raekwon was one of Ghost them. Ghostface. Yeah, Ghostface, yeah. They had rappers reacting to the shit. Like, oh, you got to Yeah, pull up a Rich Chiga reaction. Let's 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 take nah, a look put on at the, Nah, let's let's. You want to hear the actual song? I want to hear the actual song. Right, I haven't heard it in a while. You also never finished your story. About what? Just uh, talking to the dad out there in uh, the Philippines. Oh. Yeah, here we go. There you go. Oh, bro. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Is he the chubby one or not? Yeah, he's the skinny one. With the, that's, 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 Is he that's, the one that's retarded The, the one with Down yeah. syndrome. <laughs> I mean, he's that's definitely got a touch that's. of the Oz. That can't even be his voice. There's no way. <laughs> with a fanny pack, bro. Pouring out bushmills or whatever. <laughs> Fucking cap guns. Look at the crystal chandelier. These boys is balling. Give a fuck up about a motherfucking hoe. Oh, I'ma pull up with that stick and hit your motherfucking dough. Mm. I can't. This kid's 12 years old. All right, that's good. That's 12 enough. 12 years old is good. That's enough. Can we make that our intro? <laughs> the fact that you knew the, the, the chorus oh, was that, upsetting. That, that shit he went knew. hard. Yes. I mean, I mean he knew, yeah. knew. Yeah. He has another There was song nothing too, hard though. about that. No, Zero hard. When, about when that. you don't see who it is and you hear the song at first, you're like, oh, this shit is. But yeah. the problem it's is, tough. I did see who we did. I know, I know. it was. Yeah, we should have done audio see. only first. Yeah, yeah. Once I Hard saw respect, what he yeah. looked like, I laughed so yeah. fucking I've hard. I've never seen someone like with a fanny he pack. He does on. look also, not only does he look Asian, he looks retarded. Yeah. He yeah. starts in a chair like this. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy that he started on the couch like that. That's wild that you he knew did what that. he was doing. Look. I want to be an ally, but they make it hard. Where, I mean, that's K-pop. <laughs> he should be doing K-pop. Where's he from? Right Malaysia, now. Jorge? I feel like Jorge would know. Malaysian? Indonesia. 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 Indochina. Ugh. Indochina. Where is Indonesia? It's, it's down there. 30 seconds. I'm it's so down there. that we had to sit through. It's like the most Muslim country, I think, in the world, in Indonesia. Really? Yeah, I think it, I think so. I think we talked about this before, though. All right, yeah. So that that dude came to me to ask me for money to put his son in in school, in private school, and it was like four hundred pesos, and I was like, ah, sure, absolutely, Jeez. yeah, I, I got you. I actually yeah. like I send money to my one. It was of eight dollars. One of my titas <laughs> to sponsor a kid to go to school yeah. in their village. It costs so you like, next to nothing. I mean, literally, I'll just send like fifty bucks a month or yeah. whatever I got. Yeah. You know, a spot. And you pay. feed him, oh, clothe sure. him, and literally pay for his ten school. minutes of nine yeah. eleven and HPV you, bits. I put a small boy. Yeah. Through. <laughs> and you probably you put a new roof a on the house child. too. I in am. the Philippines. Yeah. I am. Yeah. yeah, it's so easy. Like in Dominican Republic, like uh, a lot of like the Dominican community out in Long Island where I live, they'll all like pitch in money. Like they'll take donations mm -hmm. and they'll build houses for poor people out there. Oh. Like affordable small houses. I got a buddy that went to Dominican and just bought four women for a week. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Fucking cheap. Just, six bucks. Uh, yeah, six bucks. <laughs> six Dude, bucks. Did, did, your, did your sisters and mom get back safely? <laughs> Wait a minute, what? <laughs> Hold on. Wow. That's crazy. Come on. Geo, that's Come on. That's crazy. Wow. Can I I can't even find a fucking drop for that. That was <laughs> that's wild. Just me laughing maniacally <laughs> in the back is, is the drop. But Come even uh, Derek, to the no, There you go. No, there no, you go. No, right. Yeah, we no. need a cricket on this too. That wasn't bad. That was good. No, They're laughing was, at home. Yeah, they were laughing. Yeah. <laughs> to this day, the Philippines is still dirt cheap. Like my mom's always made that clear to me. Like, hey, just get over there and for sixty dollars a day you could play, you know, eighteen holes of golf. Oh, have yeah. a case of beer if you wanted a full, you know, massage with multiple endings. Yes. Just hey, all yeah. of it for Nothing. When are Nothing. we going? I, that's what we're talking about. When are about. we going? I already got the house. A Where's pack of cigarettes was 25 pesos. That That's 50 cents. 50 cents. That's American. Wild. American, yeah. I, I, if it only... The only thing is there, there's power outages every day, and they, there's also these things called brownouts where the water just runs brown. Ooh. 
So, and you will become violently ill if, if you, you ingest it. that water. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. I'm always like one 24 hour flu away from being my goal weight. <laughs> <laughs> like, we're good. Dry me out, baby. Let's get this bird. Yeah. I mean, Ooh, it, it was Lolly the- belly. I'll take it. They had the cock fights over there. It was fucking. That's wild. It was great. It was oh. great. I, I had a cock win like two fights. Yeah. And then he, he died in the third fight. And I, I went to grab him. And they I, I got like 10 people pulled knives on me. Because I didn't know. Like people would bring the bird over to me after my, my cock won. And I was like, no, no, no. Like fucking. But that's how people eat. So uh, when my bird died, they're like, "No, that's our fucking bird now." Yeah, they Bro, buy the or, yeah. they buy the bird. If yeah. we go, I'm paying for like I just want to hire people to walk by me like security. So you'll be I the go. biggest person there, like the you'll tar- be a bigger target. But like, <laughs> oh, that's the guy we're gonna get. We're gonna need a six man team for this guy, <laughs> dude. The, the the my girl got sick. I brought her into a hospital. She, they, and everyone's like, "Stay in the car. Don't come in." I'm like, "No, I'm going in." Like my lady's sick. I go in. They're like five thousand dollars. Like I, I'm, oh, because they like, saw you. Yeah, they saw me. Like we got a white American, fucking uh, five yeah. grand. I was like, I, I didn't have it like that, so we had to go to another hospital, and I stayed in the stayed car. Stayed in the car. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Next time you'll listen. Yeah. It's fucking stubborn. It's like fifty miles away. No, I'm sorry, like, baby. We're gonna like, have to wait an hour. So we go. Like, we don't get sick. We hire security and buy children. That's what you did, right? <laughs> you buy, buy children <laughs> and make them your wife. <laughs> So uh, tomorrow, so you know, I'll the, look at the, the next time you, when you do finally get to go, just so you know, the 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 plumbing runs on the side of the street. There's like moats. So you just see shit floating down the side of the street. So it's like New York, basically. Something like that. Just yeah, less and, high rises. And most of the toilets don't flush. Just less Asian people. You just pour you pour water <laughs> down the toilet to make it flush. Oh, yeah. when uh, what was it turkey? They just have a hole in the ground. You just kind of like pissing. You shit squat. Over the hole you squat the into the ground. That's yeah. the right way. They still to have shit. latrines in Dominican Republic. Yeah, like you, you can have like a big ass house with indoor plumbing, but there'll still be those outdoor like bathrooms. Yeah. Just Tell me again how Dominicans the number one in Spanish? How? Yeah, in America. Yeah, explain this. I, I, I really want to elaborate. I don't. He started trying to convince me that Dominicans were the uh, highest tier Latinos. Yeah, we we're the most we're like the most talked about now. We took over baseball. We took over barbershops. We took over uh, every cleaning job. We took over... It does bother me how many Dominicans are in baseball. We took over... Cubans, uh, are, Cubans are number one still in baseball. Uh, are, you, are, you are you sure, sure about that? Yeah, yeah. Are you Le- oh, level, no. wait, wait, Double wait. check that. Level of player or... Amount of players. Be, Amount be, of a players. few years ago, once they were able to come through Mexico, a bunch of them started coming through. Okay. And that's how you got like Yasiel Puig. Uh, what's his face on the... There's a few other people with this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Aaron people. Judge. <laughs> 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 fucking El Duque Hernandez. He came over here. Everybody thought he was 25. The guy was fucking 42 years See, old. You love baseball, 42. but you hate immigrants. I, That's, this is why you're I, conflicted I, listen, right now. Listen, if they come here and they're working... American baby, all right. Especially if you're America. working. For, especially if you're working for the New York Yankees. Hey man, put them yeah. in pinstripes. <laughs> yeah, let's go. I'll marry you so you can have yeah. citizenship. Nothing more American than I can than have the New money. York Yankees. <laughs> now Indiana, that's where you're from, but you, you live in Chicago now. Correct. Yeah. For the past few years, I'm based out of you, Chicago. You like shy? A lot. You live by yourself? or You got roommates? One roommate. Yeah, dude, chick. Chick, yeah. also kind of in the scene, but you know, I'm only in and in, in sh- wherever I am for about half of the month every month, and mm. then I try to be elsewhere but right. i like chicago enough to you know got past at the stand a couple of years ago and still didn't yeah. come over here you know permanently right, or right, with right. any sort of like move because i just where i'm at comedically just starting to headline and do some of those things and as you know that bottomless middle tier is it's great insane um you can get rich in there or you can kill yourself yeah. so Either way. I'm going to do both. <laughs> no doubt about it. Right I'm going to do both. I'm right going to make after. some money and then blow my fucking brains out. <laughs> yes. That's exactly what I'm going to do. So did you start in Indiana? Yeah. I mean, I only moved to Chicago in the past like two and a half, three years. So like I cut my teeth in basically the Indianapolis I like scene. that you know that phrase, cut my teeth. Not, not, not many people know that nowadays, I feel like. Did but, you know that, Jorge? Do you know what cut my teeth meant? Natalie? All right, I'll go fuck myself then. That's I guess it sounds like. I guess they knew. Well, but you know me also. It's like I don't appear forty. So like even you're forty. Yeah. So sometimes like the verbiage, like when you were talking about that baseball player, and you're like, he came over here, and everyone thought he was twenty five, and yeah. he's forty. That's you remember. How I, that's how I feel when I'm at the office because you yeah. know I'll get on stage, and it doesn't matter if it's like one of our peers. 
or someone in an audience, I say 40, someone will gasp. Yeah, you know, yeah, they're yeah. just like guys like Asian women. It can't, I know, it can't be fathomed. It's, you're that, it's that Asian persuasion. You're a geisha doll. Mm -hmm. You're not going, you're, you're they gonna age gracefully. Yeah, they do age gracefully. Like these Dude, damn white women. The woman I was with, her mother was fucking smoking hot. Like hotter, almost hotter than her. So they say, right? If you want to know what she's gonna look like, look at her mom. Yeah, I wanted mm -hmm. to. I wanted to fuck her mom. My mom looks like Ms. Swan <laughs> from Mad TV. You're looking like a man. Swear to God. Swear to God. You're looking, looking like, like a man. man. Talking about being 40 years old, it's like Ms. Swan's not even Asian, and that was the most representation you're, I had for the community see, as a kid. Lois from uh, Connie uh, Chung and fucking Ms. <laughs> Swan. I'm like, bro, what else? So you're 40. Your mom's probably like 52, 53. No, they had us. <laughs> your, mom, your mom is 47. <laughs> mom's 70. Get out of here. Mom and what? dad were 30 when they like started th their family. Us, me they as the oldest. Boomers, so yeah, yeah for sure but mom looks i mean they look fantastic dad even as looks, as a white you know looks they're good. they're as a white, as, yeah. as a a white. Man, they're doing okay but mom is definitely not 70 appearing the it's asian crazy. women are just better women man they fucking it's low stress yeah. they fucking they wait on I've, your hand and I, foot they take I, care of you i lost my you virginity know? to a filipino girl and never been with an asian girl since was it that bad of an experience no it wasn't bad it just for some reason me and asian girls don't click it's just uh. rare like I've had where it was like maybe the talking stages, yeah. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> Old slant slit got me. I, I'm That's how you say. I was trying to, I was trying to think of a joke. No, so this is this I'll is let him hang himself. I was like, I was so gonna, it's I was this. It's, it's some, this is Chinese Chinese pussy. I'm gonna say Asian chicks. Chinese. I was trying. Or like this. Because Gio like kind of looks like like a Chinese guy. He looks no, like an old Chinese guy. Yes, you do. No, I don't. When you cut your hair, you looked more, yeah. Really? Like, yeah, when you had the longer hair, definitely not. But Dude, if we throw one of them the fucking one actual Asian satin person fucking here, things. Do I look Asian? I'm only half. Pull well, up, you look, you look you half Asian, right? You well, look... uh, for sure I know I look all the different yeah. ethnicities because of the slurs I've been called. <laughs> right. Indiana. <laughs> oh, you look like you could pass for oh, black, too. Oh, I mean, sure. I heard kamikaze it, like anything you know just kamikaze where, seems kind of cool kamikaze is hilarious that's where i was like oh connor is close to his pop pop from to the korean that war was, uh, and got me zing dude no one ever called me zipperhead but if they had that would have been an zipperhead's my favorite i mean one. one of the most epic asian slurs because like it's so the visual on zipperhead like the first time i heard that and they were like explaining to me where it was like oh yeah that's like the you know an asian's face Getting like split with the butt of a rifle, and then zippering. Or yeah, yeah, or even just like a, the treads of a tank going over you, and I'm like, ooh, yeah. that crazy. Call me They're called bro. crackers. Why? Because the cracker. Cracking the whip. Yes. Isn't that crazy? Like when you like. actually find out where some of the stuff comes from, you're like, oh, that one. That's so that ugly. takes the fun out of it. Where's a Where's bit. uh? I wonder what honky is about. It's like because geese honk and we're loud like that, or we're like honk honk honk. Or honky like, tonk is what I think. Honky, of. honky, honky, honky tonk, tonk. You're right. You're fucking. Well, what the right. fuck is honky tonk? Is that like a country Such kind thing? of music bumpkin? White trash is is also a good one. You know what's wild? I was reading this book. The name of the book is White Trash, and uh, it was talking about how the rich whites would still would treat the poor whites like shit, and like kind of keep them on the level with with black people, and that's what made like poor white trash really hate black people. It was this whole. I well, I mean, whole, I feel like every every. Like race or whatever has its own like you th you think you're better than the other one so it's like like as a Spanish person you'd be like oh yeah like there's Spanish people Latin people whatever and uh -huh. like, yeah, 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 yeah 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 you got white Dominicans trash. then you got Puerto Ricans and yeah. the rest of them even in Keep India the caste system oh, it's like anyway. they've you know we've they all been, hate each other we've been delegating you yeah. know and like making a triage based on someone's value from the start and Filipinos are the worst of the Asians of course yeah. they've been called the Mexicans of yeah. the Asia Asians, yeah. like you know. It's like Japanese. The Japanese think they're better than everybody. Japanese. They kind of are. They are, yeah. though. Look Japanese at, are the best <laughs> ones. I heard, I heard, I heard, been, but I heard Japan is wild. I, there's nowhere so else I want to be. I want to be like the number one rated yeah. Tokyo, you know, or yeah. Kyoto comic where they're like, Hannah's actually over there yeah. just running wanna, the number one destination. I want to go out there and get ramen out of a vending machine. You Bro, know what I mean? please. Like, I want to go out there. number one out there. Everything is acid. cleaner. I mean, yeah. it's just like, you know. Well, you could buy panties in a vending machine You get a fucking there. waffle on a, on a fucking stick. Yeah. Covered in candy and shit. Yeah. Oh, that's Korea. You're thinking of Korea. Korea uh, does. It that. all looks still like the Korea sorry, dog. Sorry. Oh, uh, uh, I'm gonna fact check Jorge right now. Oh, uh, so the United States has 525 players, Dominicans 90, Venezuelan 53, and Cuban just 20. 
But are all 20 of those awesome and you're 90 or crap? Ninety. About? We got Hall of Famers. Ninety is too many. We, got 90, whole, we uh, have uh, Aaron playing. Judd. Is, is Aaron the, Judge is not. He's part Puerto Rican, actually. Uh, is he Dominican? Go. No, he's Irish, black. Stop and trying Puerto to steal Rican. my people, Gio. I mean, I one of, he, the greatest know. baseball player of our generation was Dominican Albert Pujols. You can't. Uh, fucking, uh, Pujols you, is you a can't beast. deny that he didn't fucking. do steroids and he hit seven hundred home yeah, runs. I, mean, that's I used to think Mariano was Dominican, the Panamanian, but we claimed him. We claimed him. Even Dude, the, the, I was just talking about Mariano. He has a dealership right in my town. Yeah, and he had it. He was fucking building this huge house. And it fucking burnt down before they finished it. The funniest sure thing, scared. you know, when, of course, it, when he I used thought. to come into play. I'm it, like, he knows the dealership is going to tank. So he's like, let me get rid of this fucking house. <laughs> they play Enter Sandman. And, you know, by Metallica when he would come in. And, and they were asking about, they're like, oh, so are you like a big Metallica fan? And he was like, oh, no, I don't even know who that is. He's like, I listen to Christian music. I have yeah. no idea who Metallica Oof. is at all. That's, they just played it for coming out to Christian, Christian music, like your first sporting <laughs> event. Spanish Christian Jesus music. Jesus loves too. you hey, and the children. Quito. Yeah, Spanish one. <laughs> by the way, this right here was better than that fucking song you played by Rich Chingy or whatever the hell his name was. Because no, it's a song <laughs> of God. I already got Rich Chingy, Rich Chingy? out of my mind. He's bad. Oh, shit. Pull up with the stick. Oh, I don't even know. Pull up I don't with the stick. Give a fuck about it, motherfucking. See, oh, this is I'm just terrible. Pull up Let with that stick it. and hit that motherfucking <laughs> dough. That's probably be. I would pump you up while you were going to a recipe. No, wouldn't. On a, no, no wouldn't. <laughs> the Asian person doing music that has most enamored me lately that I found about, like found out about, was this. He's a country Asian based out of Nashville, and his Instagram handle is Travis Yeehaw. And <laughs> well, that has to come. I mean, screen. incredible. We, yeah, and that's, the reason I saw Travis Yeehaw because they were like, hey, somebody was like, Hannah, are you familiar with that Asian kid <laughs> that's doing like the Migos? Or like a, it's basically either like it's a Garth Brooks Migos mashup, and I thought, oh my, that is <laughs> this guy. Mm-hmm. How's he speak regularly? Yeah, and I feel like there might be an accent. Did he have pants on? How? <laughs> 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 So this thing's a cream yeah. cheese? This is wild. Land of the cream cheese is out now. So make sure to add it to your Independence Day playlist. Oh, he's can in, we go to that video? He's patriotic. I like him. Oh. I like him. We need patriotation. Cultural I like him. appropriation. I like him. But Let him have it. There was a wrestler back in the day. His name was Jimmy Wang Yang. And he <laughs> <laughs> pulled him up for it. <laughs> And he he was Asian, but he wore a cowboy hat and cowboy boots oh and jeans. God, it, it was so funny, and he and he he sounded Asian too. Jimmy Wang Yang. Let's see, let's see yeah, Jimmy Wang Yang. That was my fucking. Game. That was my guy, dude. I can't. He was he was this a high fault. We're going down this rabbit hole. You started with the. I'm there he is. Look at Jimmy Bro, Wang Yang. I mean, he's Asian. Dude. There's no way he's got that the Travis same facial Gio. hair as Geo. This is why he says you look Asian. Jimmy Wang Yang, he's baby. Just high. Yeah, no, he was the fucking man. He'd be like, like going to go out there. It, it, was, it was great. <laughs> At least that one didn't sound Indian. <laughs> it was great. Yeah. I, I feel like this is not the, no one here is the demographic for this, but does anyone remember Hey Arnold? Yeah. Where, yes. the, con where the, the Asian guy in his boarding house was secretly a famous country singer. Oh, what? Yeah. I'm older than that show, but that's hilarious. Yeah, yeah. it was great. And that's any time I see a an Asian dude with a country Also, Natalie, thanks for the ageism, by the way, just assuming we weren't going to yeah. know anything. Yeah, no. was, hey, Arnold, that was the kid with the big head, right? The football head. Sometimes yeah, yeah. I make references head. and people are like, you, what are you talking about? Have you seen Home Alone? <laughs> <laughs> what do you I know have. about the stoop kid? Damn. Bro, I... I I just turned 43 last Thursday, and I'm just I'm feeling so old now. You're good. We're oh, so good. Are you? You're in your We're 42, so right? good. 41. 41. So everybody is 41. I can't believe I'm older than you. What the fuck are you trying to say? I, I see. I don't know. I feel That's like kinda, I, that kind of. Like I mean, but that adds up. Am that I, makes sense. Listen, am I wrong if I think that Damien looks older than me? To be honest, just tell me. Are you wrong? Am I wrong? Okay. I mean, because you can't see yourself while you're making that thought. That's right. That's what it is. You know what I mean? Like you can't see a side by side. You don't have a filter. Who do you think looks older? Yeah, be honest. Tell him. I'm not gonna get mad. She looked at Derek longer. I, well, because Derek, <laughs> he, has, he, Derek he is showing you. visible gray. Yeah, okay, so that's so, what so makes like him that's look only older. where yeah. I think I would put because I'm in your age group let that see, you I'm would looking both at be Damien similar. Now. But let me that see, is let me just see myself the visual. Close up on me. If we're talking optics yeah, only, yeah, I look old. If man. you shaved or dyed your beard, you'd look younger than Damien. This smoke break is brought to you by YoDelta.com. 
the official getting high sponsor of the gas digital network or about the same age. <laughs> and then it's funny wah, that you can, you can show me as a near 41-year-old and people are like, no. yeah, Go fuck yourself. Stop flexing. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, I apologize. Not, right. now, 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 look you at me. It. Look, look at me. 37, and I look like a 22-year-old Asian country singer. <laughs> a Long Island man was arrested for sexual harassment. <laughs> <laughs> he was seen wearing a cowboy hat and cowboy boots. <laughs> you look like Jimmy Wang Yang, See, actually, a little right? bit, bro. Yes, he does. Who? Jimmy, Jimmy Wang, Wang Yang. Yang. No, I don't. Your... Are you fucking out of your mind? Well, maybe yeah. if I put my headphones like this and make my ears pop out Gio, a little bit. Gio, you look Asian. There I go. I look like you Jimmy look Wang. Asian or Middle Eastern? Jimmy Wang Hang. I mean, <laughs> I let my Jimmy Wang Hang. Jimmy Wang Yang is so the name is so funny though. It just like sounds Jimmy like Wang if you were just like somebody's like, hey, what's your Asian buddy's name? You can't Jimmy remember, Jimmy and you're Wang like, Yang. you know, Jimmy, Jimmy Wang. Oh, Jimmy Wang. I get Yang. Dana White a lot. If that makes you feel better. That what? I get Dana White a lot. Dana that makes White. You feel. Yeah. yeah. Dana Brown. Yeah. There you go. Who's <laughs> Dana Brown? He is. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. You I'm are just, today. yeah, today is yeah. not your day. Don't bro. fucking see now, this bro. Is, this is dementia. Not... The dementia's getting real. <laughs> yeah. I ain't got I'm no afraid dementia. for my birthday now. <laughs> that does look like Dan Jesus Christ. <laughs> hey, God, if I only had half his money. Dana Brown, Dude. UFC. Well, How much is he worth? <laughs> he's close to a billion. Yeah, yeah, I think he's, he's like almost a billionaire or something crazy like I that. I was listening to his, uh, he was talking about how he bought the UFC the other day. So the UFC, uh, he was managing Tito Ortiz, right? Yeah. And they were, I forget which UFC number they were doing. And uh, right before the fight, they told Tito, we're not paying you what we originally told you. We're, we're paying you this. And Tito's like, well, then I won't, I won't fight. So he had Dana call the UFC, and the guy goes, uh, I don't even know if we could put the next fucking show on. He's not getting any more money, and then he hung up. So then he called his boys. He was like, I, the UFC's in trouble. I think we could buy it. Yeah, like rich friends or they something. They bought like that. it for like a million bucks, dude, and look at what it's fucking worth now. It's insane. And but it took insane. a while to get to that, though. It took a while, but they, they while. knew what they had. Yeah. I mean, just the amount of money, though, is fucking insane, oh, bro. Dude. It's, it's crazy. Because, like, I mean, it's like... I think the tickets are just about the same or more than a boxing match. Yeah, bro. Yeah, it's front, like those fifth, that those front row seats are definitely four figures. Sometimes yeah, they're probably like I can see of some dollars. of them be like a ten thousand dollars seat for sure. Yeah. But so sure. is now a courtside seat at the fucking oh. Fever Liberty game here in New York. You know <laughs> how much is that? That'll Dude, go away when they well, don't first of all, yeah. tell you something. Yeah, once the hype dies down, they'll go back to being forty bucks. Tree hockey is crazy. Female tree hockey. Wow. Where's that cricket thing again? <laughs> I was on the kidding. <laughs> well, way to kill the momentum there. We were, on, we were on a roll. I mean, we were all <laughs> firing on all cylinders, and then that came out. I thought it was funny. I'm into it. It was also because yeah. you prefaced it with like, let me tell you something. So then we all got quiet to listen to what you were about to say. <laughs> as, as a 43-year-old man, I feel like it's my right to do that. To, to have a Biden moment? Yeah, to fucking to, to hold court. <laughs> it's a whole court. Remember that so, Trump rebuttal? It's like, I don't even know what he said. I don't think he knows what he said. Yeah. I couldn't watch that debate. I saw it was on and then I just walked to the dispensary. I really, I literally, <laughs> I, I watched it. I was like, nah, three you minutes. can have my taxes, but not my time, you fucking <laughs> yeah. cucks. The way he would cut him off, but he would cut off Biden was the funniest shit because he would just be losing himself and the guy's like, all right, time, 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 yeah. uh, time. No. He's like, he was only talking for 30 seconds. He has more time. He's like, all right, let's no stop. No one's here anymore. Yeah. yeah. I mean, dude, I, oh, fuck. It's going to be ridiculous. It's going to be. Fucking ridiculous! I, I can't I can't wait till November. Be the first time somebody's gonna. You know, That's when we'll go to the present. Philippines. If we see it's like something's fucked up right after, and we just get a whiff of something, I've got at least dude, the go floor or two of a, a house. Comedy club dude, for Bob, super say cheap. less. Yeah, let's, say less. Let's get a. Uh, I'll reach out to Joe Coy and some of the <laughs> oh, yeah. the we'll, old we'll guard. Reach out, we'll reach out. To, uh, reach out to Ed <laughs> Old Man Hustle and then just be like, <laughs> no, hey, you want to move? I want to move Williamsburg. I watched Joe Coy's last special. Not bad. Didn't he start like with crowd work for like the first ten minutes? Or yeah, something? that doesn't not, usually happen. Not really? bad. Yeah, but what a weird. I had it made a friend, me laugh a lot. Good. I'm glad. I yeah. had a friend that like went and watched him at market at, at MSG, and he was like, basically, I was like, how was it? And he was like, I enjoyed it, but he was like, it's weird that he was trying to do crowd work in a venue that big. Yeah. Because like imagine you know it's like stadium crowd work. Yeah, Sounds kind of like wild to yeah, me because yeah. you've got like whole bowls of that upper tier with like no but, ability yeah. to whatever. 
and it can be so, kind of interesting. And I, I guess for me, it's like, you know, I grew up with him being one of like the early people as a Filipino yeah. to really like see in comedy and especially at the office particularly. Yeah. yeah. You know, I know now like when like Big J does. Um, well, he's half thing, white too. Like you. Who, Joe Coy? Yeah, Joe Coy's half. He's half white, half Filipino. Yep. He don't claim that white side. Oh, he's, no, he he tells, talk, he's talked about, he talked about it. Yeah. yeah. But um, we were saying that when Big J does. Uh, oh, oh, yeah, they, does they crowd put the, work. The they got a guy. The they got a guy with a camera. So in the, the crowd, crowd can see on the So he the Megatron. points at the person he's talking yeah, he's to. You kind of have to. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm assuming Rife does the same thing because a lot of his stuff is, Probably, is that too. Yeah. Probably. I mean, which is smart. Man. That would even be smart for like, I hope like I could a be small, that good like a big there. comedy club. That's yeah. Rife. Yeah. Me too. <laughs> Dude, I heard he made yeah, like. Successful. Dude, once I, I mean, once made, I get enough money to get of dollars to get a fucking year. get my yeah. jawline fixed and and my BBL, I'm fucking it's over. I'm getting them ab implants, some Jizzy Drakes, and it's over. I'm too old. No man, it's I'm not. not I'm, I still, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna have I, to write something and sell it. I to did the math. Right. It's gonna take about forty thousand dollars in plastic surgery to fix you to fix me up. And but the guy, the doctor's like, oh. I don't think no, it's instant, instant, instantly I'm not you're going to gonna grow 50000 But didn't Rife get plastic surgery? Yes. Yeah. Okay. But he's also fucking 20... Was no, 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 I'm not... Yeah. I was just curious. Like, didn't he... Yeah, because okay. he got his teeth fixed. He's got like a nose job or some shit. But he wasn't... A, I didn't think he was a bad looking guy before that. But whatever whatever they made him do, you know... He, he was did, fat. He think did. Like a chubby might kid. Might have been a, a chubby kid. He's jacked chubby now. Kid, yeah. But yeah, I, I was looking at the top 10... What they made last year, it's it's insane. insane. Yeah, he made the most money last year, right? He was like the highest paid comic. I don't know. I think somebody else did, but he still, he still made I just a, want like one or two years of that. You know what I mean? Like if you just get one or two, and then you can just have fun doing comedy and not I worry would, about like... Well, dude, I would one stop. One month of that would change I would, my life I would right stop. If I, if I make a million dollars, I'm... You, you will think never, that? No, I you know. You think that, but there's a, a lot of people around you that will not let you... Want to stop. I got twelve years tops you, left in this. Think body. about it, right? Like if somebody I'm not making it to sixty, if I come up on a lot of cash in the next few years, I'm I'm moving down to South Carolina. I'm buying a piece of land, putting a trailer on it, and that's it, and I'm done. Dude, Dude money does not last. Trailer. Yeah, huh? Money does not last. I'll make that last till I die. I mean, you're not gonna. You don't got much time left. It is yeah. weird, but it's like, I feel that way. It's like where I know even never having come from money or having it yet, that it's like I could easily spend like $100,000 in a day, but I could make $17 stretch for two weeks. Yeah. 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 You know, yeah. but, and that's, but that's like that kind of mindset where it's like, even Derek, it's like, we don't know what's going to happen yet. No, we don't. You know, so even with your 12 years, at some point I'm going to ride a couple pilots. If you want to go and jump in that room, we'll just get it. We'll get something going. Well, maybe you if know? I got the money, I'd, I'd, I'd fucking start doing Maybe I'd, I'd, I'd do some shit. Make, I feel like it'd just be less pressure on the comedy. Like right now, everything oh, that we is. do is always like, oh, is this going to be the thing? Or yeah, can this yeah. open the door for this thing? And then is this you make that much gonna money. going to change my life? Yeah, but you know, then you make that much money. Like, oh, I can just do it for fun now. I like, hate I don't have to... moving around so much. Oh, I love it. I, I do too. I like to I stay in flux. No, not me, I don't. I, don't. I, I love I, moving. Yeah, I There's think like, I move around more if I had more money. There's, I feel like um, throughout most of the parts of the day, like like in the evening, like you know, if I got to go do something at nine o'clock, I'm like, I just want to stay home, man. Um, I'm not. I'm the, that's part of why I got divorced. Yeah. Just, I mean, I always like to be out moving. I mean, like that. I wasn't. I wasn't a homebody. Right. You right, know what I mean. Right. So I got on my like. You know, I finished my nights in the city at like twelve, and then I still got an hour and Just a half ride home. With mm -hmm. with with what I did to my life with addiction and and then you know and also incarceration, I feel like I I didn't live a lot. And now I'm starting to like this past two years. I've traveled more than I, I've ever traveled. You know, took a forty five minute flight to fucking Martha's Vineyard. Went to Portugal. Fucking. Went to L.A. Went, I went all over. And it's not like I, I really love these places or anything like that, but I'm just living a little bit more. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I know that's supposed to help me with comedy, but even I'm not even thinking about comedy when I when I do that shit. I'm but I think that's healthy. Off. I'm like, yeah. oh, this is... Yeah, yeah, the less yeah, I yeah. think about comedy, to be honest, the better my comedy is. Mm -hmm. You know, in the past four years, I was talking to some people about this last night. Like, I started to meditate, like, four years ago at the 20-minute mark, probably several days a week and now legitimately i'm in a 90 minute to two hour a day practice really most of the days yeah that's how i've i've honestly i probably analytically am tripling the amount of stage time i have on a week to week basis with the amount i spend in breath work right but my comedy is the best it's ever been so funny to hear you say analytically with that accent i know <laughs> i know what somebody said to me the other day they were like you're like if audrey plaza was raised by reba mcintyre <laughs> and i was like i'll take it that's hot bro 
Call me Midwest Aquafina and Farm Moana. You're writing my jokes Mid- for me, Midwest Internet. Midwest Aquafina, that's Thank great. you, Internet. Yeah. <laughs> but when even Killer. just being down south with my parents last week, like, dude, fucking, there's, it's so quiet. There's yeah. no people. I just go for like a five mile walk every day. It's good to get a reset, a hundred percent. I yeah. think a reset's important. You know what's harder for me at this age is coming back from that, like you know, like uh, having to fucking get back into life here. Yeah. I don't like it. You know what I mean? I'm I'm starting to enjoy my days off more. Before, like if I didn't have anything that night, I'm like fuck, I don't want to be home. Now I'm like, oh thank God, I don't have to drive to the city or go fucking you know. Go hang out somewhere for three hours or two hours. Yeah, I know? get that. Yeah, I get that. But for, but last year I was just like a sick. I'm like, fuck, I'm not going up tonight. I'm wasting time. I'm never gonna make it. I'm gonna be a loser. And then now I'm like, who the fuck cares? Yeah, like, yeah. I, I I like you could burn yourself out doing too much comedy. Beyond. Yeah, you just burn yourself. I mean, you out. just burn yourself out. Period. Well, fuck with work and all that shit. Yeah, you know yeah. What I mean, that's why I'm gonna get this disability. I'm gonna get this hundred percent disability. Dude, I was on my job. I was on disability. Bad jokes, you're on the way. I was on on disability for like six months, and then instead of like, oh, I'm gonna write more or try to work on social media, I did absolutely nothing for six. It was so funny because you'll be like, yo, I got hit in the head, man. You know, I I, I can't, I can't can't think the same. Yeah, I gotta go to the doctor. I can't come up with punchlines anymore, man. I can only come up with premises. (laughs) You were going to, (laughs) you were going to a therapist, right? Yeah, I was going to match shit. I was going through uh, uh, vestibular therapy. uh, I stopped calling you because every time I called you, be like, yo, I'm at the doctor right now. Yeah, I was getting (laughs) acupuncture. (laughs) You're like, lame, man. I'm just trying to get coffee. (laughs) Good luck with the fucking squeezing that ball or whatever. (laughs) Whatever the shit. It was just so funny because he got rolling on the wall with a bag of birds. Seed. Is that what that's, it was? That's, that's what, what it was. was. How did it happen? It Walmart. fell off the top shelf while it, and hit me in the top of the head. And my at? manager saw it. Where were you at? Walmart. I was I was like on the floor, like st- stuck in the bottom shelf, and so I was facing down, and I just felt something hit me in the back of the head. I just felt. So you didn't sue <gasps> Walmart? I'd have sued. Oh, I'm in the middle of a lawsuit. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Oh, you oh, so you so you make that money with money. Retire. Derek's yeah. getting Hug. money. Stay the course, Derek. <laughs> We're all, all right. one settlement away. Yeah. Once you win, you're going to dump friends. all that money into the podcast. No, the fuck That's... I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to dump all that shit. We got a Filipino comedy. comedy. I'm going to buy, I'm gonna buy Old Man Hustle <laughs> and just put myself on every show. <laughs> I mean. I'm going to call it I'm gonna call it Ed Old Man Hustle Yo, and not book him on Old it. Man Geo. <laughs> old Man Geo. That's fucking hilarious. <laughs> Oh my God! If you pass me, I'm in there quick. Oh, yeah, quick. Yeah. <laughs> I'm only booking female comics. Not <laughs> time to transition. Oh, you really want this shit to fail? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I'm messing around. But that one made me laugh, though. No, that no, one. it made me <laughs> laugh because I know the kind of comedy I do. I shouldn't be the saving grace of an organization. I finally got him. I got him. But yeah, fucking, I, I'm. It's not that I'm getting lazy. I just fucking. I even feel gay too. Like I'm like really hyped about this recreational softball league I'm in. Bro, I heard the conversation. I mean, it was. That sounds. It was, yeah, it was pretty gay. Oscar called me gay. Oscar's yeah. on the team. The Oscar. level of intensity. Gay Oscar. Gay Oscar. Yes. Okay. Was, yeah. I heard it. Wanted it to was make pretty sure. gay. Yeah. Thank you, Natalie. <laughs> I mean, the level gay. of intensity that he was having this conversation about this stupid recreational softball league. Yeah. It's in, and, and it's a team of comics. Up, he, they're going to end up hurting themselves. I, I almost got into a fight last week. There was almost a bench clearing brawl last week. It was insane. Yeah, it's, I'm talking about like maybe spraining an ankle. He's talking about like. Fist oh, dude, <laughs> I fucking tore my quad the fucking first game. Fucking, Laying down a bunt. Yeah. Hurt. Right, yeah. mm-hmm. Just leave, walking out of the batter's box. Fucking uh, pulled my groin. Or like the Crips call it cunts. Cunts, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I, I mean, but I, I don't know why. I'm just fucking. I'm like, this is fun. I mean, no, yeah, I mean, fun, cool. I get, but you were like intensely coming up with strategy. They're like, he's like ranking the arms. Everybody he's showing on the up team, with a clipboard, talking about the gloves and the bag and shit. Yeah. He's like, all right, this guy's a liability here, this one not here. <laughs> I've been working on my pitches. I can strike some people out in high arc and softball. Yeah. I'm like, this is the he's giving si- he's giving signs to the yeah. to the fucking catcher. The guy's like, what the fuck are you right. doing? This is softball. I've become a faggot. Yep, that's, that's, <laughs> I just mean, swear, just, that's just what it is. Do you show up in like the full suit? Like I just you bought, went and bought pants. I just I just my pants are on the way. I got them off Amazon. Oh he's the only one with an outfit. Shorts. I got socks. Too. <laughs> you got sliding shorts. I got the I got, I got, I got the knickers. Yeah. Chipper the knickers. Jones. <laughs> okay. This is terrible. Okay. I really like Derek until the end of this. This is really <laughs> wrapping up. <laughs> in Chicago, they have some of the comics are in like a soccer and a softball league and they'll 
every now and then float those invites out to me, and I'm like, no, I look fit like this, but it was like in my 20s, maybe, yeah, right. like sporty spice, but I'm 40 spice now, and I'm not moving like <laughs> yeah. that. If I'm dressed up like in a like fitness outfit, it's just to give the neighborhood rapist pause yeah. right. so they look at me and are like actually i do want but she looks like she's gonna lead me on a 5k for my life <laughs> and you're gonna be the most winded sexual attacker of all time like you'll catch me because you're a dude probably so basically but, only only in shape predator can can take it for sure really. and i just like yeah i just like them to just be like eh, actually she's got some hokas on so thank god all the predators that watch this are out of shape so you're fine <laughs> <laughs> i wonder if there's are if there is predators like you gotta go out for my five mile or just in case oh. i'm trying to get away I, they're fantasizing out. while they're running that's how they get through it they're like yeah. i can just take her in this bush right now yep i Chris, mean even when i was in jail Chris, and i'd uh, work out chris I, hansen and one of those youtube people show up on one of my dates <laughs> i gotta run i'd seat. work out because i was like in case somebody gets me you know or tries to jump on me so you're you doing know, squats to make your ass look rounder strong no doubt yeah <laughs> I, I do i do a uh, pull-ups every day in case i'm ever in a situation where i'm hanging on a ledge and i have to pick myself up that's like in the movies that's, that was your thing yeah oh, okay I thought it was so you could that you two of them at the same yeah, time. So I could grab, so I could double fist. Like, like they had me fucking on the on the fucking skank fest. Muscle flyers. failure, right? It's like two shake weights just constantly going. <laughs> My traps are great. You get it everywhere, boys. You gotta get the traps <laughs> for them double <laughs> fist. Was that that was you shitting on pull ups? That what? Do you work out? Have you worked yeah. at? Once I've been working out like the last like two three weeks. Get out of here! What are you doing? Uh, do pull ups, dips, and push ups. Get the fuck out of here! And, and then, then I got weights. I'll do a couple. You're doing jail shit. Jail shit yeah. in your mom's house. Yeah. In the bedroom. I got a water. Are you bag. doing dips off a, the corner of your bed? No, the corner of the of the fucking uh, the kitchen counter. You piece of shit. It's an <laughs> island. I mean, that's a, <laughs> so. It, it, it's yeah, yeah, it's what you we got. Can do it right no. here. It's right. like you fucking. Bring that jail shit into your mama's house. I just Dude, I got you know, working out in his boxers <laughs> and just walking around with a bottle of water and a little sweat towel on his shoulder. I got a garbage bag full of water that I'm using <laughs> as a spoon. A bucket full of metal. Your mom cooks your breakfast every morning, right? Uh, she cooks everybody breakfast. Yeah, she just makes beautiful. Butter, man. Man. That's, I, she I cook, love that. She cooks twice a day most times. Breakfast and dinner. Unless, unless my father's not around, then she won't cook. Oh, she really? mainly cooks for him and then just makes enough for everybody. And oh, like, then you guys get left without you your own. That's yeah. nice. Do your sister ever do any cooking or anything or no? Yeah, yeah, she yeah. cooks. She cooks good? Sure. Who's Her? the best in the house? My mom. Yeah. My father got some good shit, but my mom is fucking nice with it. Yeah. With the Spanish food. And then, like, throughout the years, she started learning, like, American cuisines or Italian cuisines. And she got good at that shit. Get the fuck out of yeah, here. Like, lasagna. She, she got a fucking fire. Same as lasagna. my mom, where it's like we would always have, a, you know, cornfields, but we'd have a rice cooker going, but she'd like learn oh, to do. Rice cooker? But, no, but I mean, I mean, I love that kind of that's shit. It's sacrilegious this day. in our house. Yeah, a yeah, rice yeah. cooker. You gotta to cook this... it in a pot, right? We cook it old fashioned. My yeah. mom got a fucking painter's bucket. Filled with rice, yeah. A teacup that we've got that much too. You know, they'll Every buy like a fifty rice. pound bag, but yeah, like there's yeah. a cooker. I even have like a Zojirushi myself as the brand of yeah. rice cooker, and it plays Twinkle it's Twinkle Little same. Star when it's done. Oh, that is oh, so Asian. It's, it's that is so Asian. Fucking, you fucking <laughs> you cook rice. It's, tweet, it's like playing. Tebow? It's playing Taylor Swift and shit like <laughs> no. that. I won't <laughs> use. I, I won't use K-pop. Tamu. My mom. I went home recently, and she's like. Hey, showing me some stuff she got off there. And I was like, bro, you're the literal worst Asian that you could be. Like, a little kid made those yeah. for you to have, like, a but 10 I mean, cent, you know, yeah. nothing. Have you Something ever that... eaten at a Jollibee? For sure. I actually, in Jollibee, Chicago, right? I'll Jollibee. have Jollibee DoorDash to me. What is that? Jollibee is Filipino fast food. But so, basically fried chicken. So and like spaghetti burgers. Spaghetti burgers. Little, <laughs> yeah. like, well, not, not spaghetti burgers. Yeah. Not spaghetti burgers. I've had spaghetti you, sandwiches in jail. You can get a little, some you can shit. get a side of, like, Filipino spaghetti. Yeah. You can get, like, little mango fruit pies. Yep, yep, yep. There's some kind of little That's mango awesome. drink, fried chicken. Yep. They've also, burgers. like KFC, you can get, like, a small, tiny, like, mashed potato mm-hmm. and a little bit of gravy. So, like, when I find myself being like, oh, you just, like, wanting to eat that way, I'll be like, hey, let's go into our culture, and I'll just get Jolly, jolly Bee. Bay. Dude. In the Philippines, you can't walk five feet without seeing a Jollibee. So it's, that's like their McDonald's. That, yes, yeah. yes. I mean, it's like a Dunkin' in Boston. They still it's have like McDonald's and stuff, but but Jollibees are crazy. And I know they they started. There might be one in New York now. There probably has. To be. Yeah, there might be one. Yeah, there's one by Port Authority. Yep. Does the McDonald's in the Philippines? Because I know in Dominican Republic they use serve, different cheese. Probably, yeah, of course. It's like it's, white. It's, well, because it's more natural. Yeah. There's no like like this pasteurized shit. But, Maybe. Uh, they they'll have Dominican beer. 
and tostones as oh, a side too. Tostones. So you can get tostones instead of we fries get if so you want. Fucked. Really? Do the Filipinos <laughs> do shit like that where they'll have like a Filipino thing on the menu? I'm sure they do, but I haven't been to a Filipino McDonald's yet, so uh, I cannot speak to so that. So when I got when I got uh, McDonald's in the Philippines, the only thing I remember different the cheese was different on the burger. Well, the, like the peaks in the Dominican Republic fucking is trash because the bread is like it's too thin and it's doughy. Yeah, it's like they use ketchup. Like the sauce is sweet. Yeah, and then the cheese tastes weird. Yeah, yeah. But Philippines a, likes banana ketchup. Like I have a a <laughs> bottle what? of it. Ban- I have banana ketchup banana in my banana flavored ketchup. Yeah. What the fuck. I take banana ketchup and I mix it with wasabi sauce and I make this like little spicy special sauce. That is the most know, special banana, shit I've ever heard. Anything Buddy, I'm a flavor. hybrid. I'm going to do some stuff Banana different. runts, some banana laffy stuff. taffy, <laughs> anything banana flavored is disgusting. It's just kind of a, it's like a little bit of a sweeter Other than ketchup. Other banana. Yeah. It's just a little sweet a ketchup. sweeter ketchup. Mm-hmm. I kind of want to try it now. I, I do want to try because in my mind it tastes disgusting. But it's also the spice but I feel like added it might be to the good. sweet though. Yeah, I feel like it's nice. Right. I just make these like tiny little ketchup. dipping sauces for stuff, you know. Oh, you're gonna bring one one day. So it's just like tomato. I'll take it home. It I'll bring my mom's egg rolls in one of these days. We keep them by oh, the dude. hundred in the oh. deep freeze back at home. Dude, the the girl I dated, uh, the the girl that I lost her, uh, her mother used to make these fucking wings, like these fried wings. I forgot, like, there was, like, a name for them, like, the spe- those fucking wings were amazing. Because it wasn't a sauce. It was just crispy. Mm. But, like, the seasoning on it was fucking amazing. And they were, like, the, the like regular wings, not those fucking... He's ordering steroids. from Jolly's right yeah, now. Yeah, he's, <laughs> he's getting Jolly's. Wait, they have babies. Jolly's out here? <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's one in Port Authority. And that's just that. You'll see about 20 minutes looking when it shows at. up. <laughs> he was like, yo, how long can I get... <laughs> how long would it take me on a city bike? I'm sure they got some kind of Crave case, you know, <laughs> <laughs> Damn, now I want to try it. In the Philippines, I ate a lot of pancit, which is like a noodle dish. Mm-hmm. It's, it's very good. But there'd be like chicken livers in it and shit like that. There's this other oh, stuff. I've had that chicken, that liver cold. dish. Where it's like black. Did you, you have balut? Balut, balut. So balut that is, sounds gross. it's, uh, oh, it's, 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 it's a baby duck dead egg. in the egg. And then oh, you, and yeah. You, just, you take it like a shooter. Yeah. Shoot it down. Pull I've up a picture that. of some balut. Let's yeah. go, balut. But they say it's an aphrodisiac. Good it's for a the stillborn knees. chicken. Was yeah, it it's good, a, yeah you'll go? throw up eating it and come hard after. I mean, at that <laughs> awesome. age, at that age, I Cutting didn't, I didn't need it. Vomit. That sounds yeah. like me anyway. There we go. Oh, oh, you ate that? Yeah, yeah I have too. You suck it right down. Yeah, I mean, it's like a Filipino. It's like the delicacy. You just can't not. It's like getting jumped into the, you know, into a gang. I would my Bitch, Filipino are you down? Side. Are you down? Yeah. Yep, you know, down. Some, uh, when I tried that chicken liver thing, um, the uh, my cousin's married to a Filipino dude, and I went to his party, and he was like, I'm not going to tell you what it is, just try it first. Nope. And then I'm like, I'll do it. And it was all right, but then he was like, oh, it's it's something, a, a liver from something. I forgot what it was. Yeah. You don't fuck with liver? No, I don't well, like Well, like foie, gra- very foie gras is, you it's know, creamy. chicken mousse liver is foie, and yeah. then, you know, there's just like other things like that too. Yeah, like po- Filipinos are big on like blood mm. sausages. Yeah, yeah. And blood sausages, things we, like that, we, but we I love blood too. sausages. Yeah, yeah, you, 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 you <sighs> eat blood sausages too. Puerto Ricans have blood sausage. I don't eat it. You know? Mm-hmm. I'm the, I you have like a salami. toddler. I so, have the Joe List taste bud. Like I'm, I'm chicken like, tendies. Yeah, pizza, burger. Like I'm that's a toddler. It. Steak. Yeah. That's what I've been. Yeah. That's what my appetite's become lately. The what, like a toddler? Yeah, yeah, just fast food burgers, tacos, yeah. fries, I hot dogs, all that special shit. I can't no. walk into a 7-Eleven. I'm like, let me make a chili cheese dog. And yeah. the beef over there was water buffalo, which was different than like the beef cows we have here. Good or bad? It w- it almost had a sweeter taste. So it wasn't bad. It was different though. But if you go to the butcher in the Philippines, it is one. It is a disgusting experience. Oh sure, there's just flies everywhere. Full fucking buffalo head on the fucking oh. thing. Tongue yeah. hanging out. My of it. brother has been okay. So yeah. like I had I had some like invitations where I could have like gone with you know family as they were going during those drinking years and yeah. i was just like i'm not gonna go over there because like nobody you would have killed yourself because well, of also, how cheap yeah. alcohol and, is. but mom also doesn't they don't drink so right. it was like i also didn't want to go sometimes on a long vacation where as an alcoholic i could not have easy access to booze yeah. and as crazy as that sounds like oh you're not going to go to the philippines because you can't well, if they drink, cut you off on the plane and you go on for a withdrawal sure. it was just yeah. like it was one of those things but my brother went and he's like very same like weak stomached and whatever and they like the villages like the village had like a just a popping off outdoor celebration and he watched a kid like cut a pig's throat lost his appetite ended yeah. up getting dehydrated and have to be hospitalized and then ate mcdonald's in the philippines for the rest of the time and i'm like you're <laughs> such a pussy bitch like yep. this is 
Fuck you, TL. You know, like you're so crazy. I'll yeah. take it. Dude, I don't, I am a I don't pussy. like I don't like goat meat, but the the last time I ate it, um, was because I killed the goat. So I'm like, it's only You wide. killed the goat yourself. Mm-hmm. Where I hung it upside down in Alabama. Would you run it over? <laughs> yeah. No, they they hang it upside down and I just slid. Like He's like, okay. I did stand up Huntsville and then I cut a goat's throat outside of the club and then I ate it. For That's real? my closing act. <laughs> That's I close out. They bring a goat on stage. If you want some, we'll be out back. And then do an accent, do my mom's accent. <laughs> but that, yeah, they, they just closing act was they, there was like a shed, and, you know, because my my aunt like twenty five acres of property, goats, pigs, and all that shit. I saw I saw a goat get fucking slaughtered. My cousin. Shot it in the face, like so. You have to shoot it right between the eyes, cause that's like the softest part of the brain. Anywhere else, it won't go through. And then this fucking little Mexican guy, who I swear was probably like, like an assassin for the Mexican mafia. <laughs> as soon as my cousin shot the pig, it drops, and then he just jumps in, like he jumps into the pen, and then just stabs it right, like puts the knife in Matt Com, just goes, and you see all the blood just come out. I, he probably wasn't. I think that's probably just how he lived in Mexico. Nah, bro, that guy was getting rid of bodies. Yeah, that was guy was so. cho- chopping up bodies. The, the way that guy worked the knife and the way you look in his eyes, I'm like, you've you've made you've bar- you've cut up at least two hundred bodies. Yeah. He got an erection while doing it. Like this is fun. Yeah, for him. this is this is fun for him. <laughs> I'm like, why are you smiling when you kill that pig? <laughs> I encountered. I'm a little traumatized. In jail, one of the times I was like there for just a second, I um, encountered. Oh yeah, we got to pull up your your <laughs> fucking mugshots before we get out of here yeah. in a couple minutes. A a woman who was like Hispanic and she I remember her being like very sweet to me we only had like a very limited interaction when I was in Marion County Jail in Indianapolis for a few days but I like I managed to like get myself into gin pop being just like a delinquent not going to like to my court hearing you know a failure to appear turns into an arrest warrant. Yeah, you guys know that. Yeah. Y'all we know. know the process. Y'all know. Yeah, especially him. Y'all know. He knows so it from the other side. Everybody knows the process. So I was in <laughs> I was in there. And He's I, on the business end. <laughs> I missed uh, one of my sister's basketball games, and she was like one of the best players in the state of Indiana at the time, and it was like she scored like 50 points. It was oh, wow. something like intensity level 1,000. Dad, you know, I'm calling him on the phone or whatever to hear about the game, and it makes me start crying. It was like... The only time I was like crying when I was in there and I felt a woman touch me on my shoulder in the cry, like as I was on the phone and in Spanish, she said to me, not knowing if I know Spanish, but You're I know enough. You're my bitch now. No, basically, <laughs> but just like, kind of like, Hey, you know, like comforting, like calm down. You're fine. Like you're not going to be in here. Like just having no knowledge of like me, but just like a very whatever. Yeah. And I turn around and it's a short Mexican woman. She's got the teardrop tattoos. She's got like her eyebrows are Tattoo like tatted yeah. in. You know, yep. I see she's got literally a grim reaper on her shoulder. Mm-hmm. The nicest person to me. So I find out later from the person that's sleeping beneath me. She was like, oh, she's a... She was a former contract killer for the cartel. Yeah. Nice. So like, um, you know, and she, they had a, like a story, like an old wife's tale within the jail that like she was, her calling card was that she'd kill like not only the entire family, but down to the pets mm. to where she had even like tacked goldfish like up on a wall Jesus at one point, Christ. but she was the nicest person to me. And in fact, no one, even with just her kind of like, I don't know if she saw in my face, like the face of a, a girl she, she had Mexican. killed or whatever or just was doing some kind of penance yeah. but I was just not bothered the whole time and right. it ended up being one of those things when I was like ooh for fuck's sake yeah when someone like that it's like don't worry you're gonna be okay you know? yeah. just... did, you, did she try to make a move on you? no moves oh, Okay. <laughs> they let me get out of there pretty easy breezy no I wanna see these mug shots before Dude, we get out of here while, while you're bringing it up it's crazy right how different it is for women because if that would have been <laughs> oh in the God. Whoa, I, to be smirk. honest I can't believe I actually sent these to y'all to oh see because my. the oh other, my God, the other right. two the other two are even worse worse like you're about to see two more mugshots from my tw- early 20s in Terre Haute Indiana and they just like are so clownish <laughs> oh that one's not oh, bad yeah, I mean, that doesn't you look like you're not drinking I know yeah. but that isn't even look at me now though as compared to like these you look like a black woman there yeah. it's insane there's the other <laughs> one all laughing what the fuck Hannah so the fr- these are great the top one is huh? I was 21 in Terre Haute like I said and I remember coming in I'd just gotten up from the bars and the guy that booked me, he was like, "You look like you just left a theater." In I the top know, one. Yeah. It and looks you, like two different girls. There's you, like a white I, girl up top, and then like a I've Dominican always shape shifted, but this is like it's hysterical to it, see. 
If they were like your, if the bottom name, if they were like, yeah, Juanita Rashid <laughs> Jackson was, yeah, yeah, 100%. was picked up for. Uh, she went but, from clubbing to cleaning houses. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then the third one is the face of a person, especially in the orange, where it's like, oh, yeah, I've been here before. Yeah. It's about 300 difference on the credit I mean, score. That smirk pictures. is fucking fantastic. I mean, great. there's nothing else to do. But yeah, I, on the very first mugshot, I remember when the guy booked me. 5.27 a.m. He, he was just, <laughs> oh, my God. the worst God. time to be in a, taking a mugshot. The witching now. hours, yeah. dude. Yeah. Well, you should make it to court if you get arrested at that time. But yeah, yeah, I remember, yeah, 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 I remember asking the very first dude. He said, he goes, this is probably one of the best looking mug shots I've ever seen. And I wow. said to him, it out there. I know I said to him, I was like, can I get a copy of it? And he goes, no, <laughs> but like something in my brain was already, this is years and like, you know, 12 years before I'd even start comedy. Yeah. But the comic was already in me to be like, okay, so can I have a, yeah, can, can I, I have one. that for my own posterity? Like yeah. not knowing I'm going to get two more and eventually whatever, but it just made me laugh. Cause like, even then he was just looking at me and I'm looking at him like, can I get a cup of coffee? Can I get a newspaper? Can I get a copy of this? You, you ever have no, the jail no, ID? No. no, we had bracelets. No, but with like the ID on it. So like I had our picture on. It was like a like those hospital thick bracelets. Yeah, and you have to wear it basically the whole time. So when you left, a lot of places you leave when you, if you you do not have an identification in your property, they give you an ID from the facility. Caught it killed for it one says, of those. And it's, yeah. Super you every, so like if you get pulled over, like even if your license is good but you still haven't got it, like that's what you hand to yeah. the police officer. And it's just like, fuck. Hey, here, you, you already, want probable cause of me doing something bad? Yeah. Just got out of jail. Yeah, search everything. Yeah. Go ahead. Here's my asshole. Did you ever search the guys after you? you I always did just because I didn't want to get in trouble for bringing something into yeah, them. Bring into them. Yeah. But, um, and you keep it all, right? Yeah. It, if it was useful, like I said, I mean, I've kept the heroin so I can get information, like drugs like mm -hmm. that. But like, if it was stuff that wasn't useful. What I'd about money? Get rid you of it. Keep some money? Oh yeah, I've robbed. Dude, I to get the my first house, I pistol whipped and, and robbed a drug dealer at, at a corner so I can get the extra three grand for closing on a house. I love it. That's what the fuck we're talking about. It doesn't get I any more it. fucking American. They're all that. criminals. I told you. I'm, I'm like, who's he gonna call? Damien Speranza. I faked a American. pregnancy to pay for a fake abortion to pay my rent. There I, you go. I, I had know. a girl try that. I had a girl try that. <laughs> yeah. I was like, I'll take you. Let's, Let's go. go a girl, yeah. And she's like, no, no, you're gonna take me. I was like, no, I'll take you. And I'm like, there's but... nothing in there. You're like, yeah. I don't give a fuck. Dude. Just take <laughs> yeah. something out. I had a girl out. once oh, when I was send me a sonogram. But didn't realize that the other girl's name was still on the I'm top. Dumb. And I'm like, you're a fucking idiot. idiot like bitch. you're dumb. Yeah. You're dumb. <laughs> Thank God you caught that because I could see that. No, you I believe it. You I believe it. Questions, and my cousin, like, uh, my female cousin, is the one who saw it and noticed it. Oh Jesus! In my mind, I saw the picture and I didn't think like, oh, let me look at her name. My female cousin looked at it and was like, yo, what's her name? And then when I look at it, I was like, she's like, oh, this is not her. This is fucking idiot. I was like. I just want to know what her guy did when uh, she's. To answer your follow up question, the person that I was able to pull this con artistry on, you know, the, the fake pregnancy, I had a couple things going for me. One, a language barrier. Mm. Like, como se dice, not my problem. Two. Oh, this guy didn't speak English. I mean, he could, but it was like ESL. Broken. You yeah. know what I mean? So just it's like just migrants like... just dump in you, man? What the... So he was a business owner. He, he, he owned, owned a taco truck. He owned, he owned multiple Mexican restaurants. He had a fucking franchise of whatever. And the second one, though, is, and this was the true leverage, is I was the other woman. Oh, so yeah. he wasn't in a position to call my bluff. Oh, yeah. oh, he was a See, I was I was free to call bluff. I was like, I'll drive you there. We'll I'll spend all day with you. Yeah. Ah, whatever just you need. what I and in, the funny thing is, like, and you couldn't even pull this off now in Indiana because like abortions illegal. So it's like this is like this was just a young, quick, opportunistic. Good let's see, and he went with it. And you I can't can get do more it. money now because he's like, yo, I got a flight to New York. You need to yep. buy me a flight. I, need I to know buy that, a hotel. but I've already told the joke. So it's just like this is just for other opportunistic harlots who can hear the sound of my voice. Hey, baby. Think about it. Utilize it if you can. I'm you what, already. You better be I'm careful out. though. If you try that shit in a state that no longer has abortion, that guy starts punching you in the stomach. Yeah. And I get it. it. <laughs> <laughs> Next thing you know, you're just getting thrown downstairs every yep. every now the and then. The old Julio Cesar Chavez. <laughs> <laughs> double uh, left, double left hook to not the not advocating gut. domestic violence. Is just saying. we would never. Damien, tell we everybody would never. where they can find you. This podcast is all about domestic <laughs> violence. There you, go. Uh, you can find me on my website, uh, DamienSpranza.com, uh, Damien S. Comedy on Instagram. And uh, I got shows at Little Rock coming up 
The 14th, the 25th, I'll be in Ohio at the Funny Stop, and I will be at Comedy Catch in uh, Tennessee on the 31st. Hannah? Um, you can listen to my album out on everything called Asian American Psycho. I, I'm also on the road here, there, and everywhere, but you can follow along with me at Hander Pump Rules on the socials. Gio Perez? Follow me on Instagram, Gio Perez, 86, G-E-O, not G-I-O, G-E-O Perez, and that's it. Yeah, follow me at Derek Dresher. I got nothing going on. I'm a bum. We're out of here. Peace. That was great. <laughs> To be the man, that's where I'm at. Like next to <laughs> I succeed, see, I succeed where everybody else is. Bro, you just smoke hot. Okay. Every time I got drunk, I almost crashed my whip. How are you doing? I'm trying to rush to the gas and spit. I'm trying to show you nothing, worry, and just dash my shit. Bro, you just smoke hot.